This year marks the 30th anniversary of Wallace and Gromit in the Wrong Trousers, and Licensed to Charm have produced a set of four bronze figurines which they've been kind enough to send out. So today we'll be taking a look at Gromit, along with some history on how his design has evolved over the years to become the iconic canine we know and love. So here's the box and the presentation is very sleek, as with Wallace. Got that premium black look, all very smooth and adorned with the modern looking Wallace and Gromit logo, which is in itself that lovely bronze color. And we have the rocket from a grand day out at the top there, very similar to the Gromit mug stuff. So if we go ahead and open the box, we met with this card, uh, which is identical to the Wallace release which has Wallace and Gromit on the front. We've got the more traditional logo there. And the back of it reads, this official Wallace and Gromit bronze miniature is designed and made in the UK in small production castings of 50 at a time, then polished and painted by hand. It's packaged in an eco display box with a double-sided scene card. So then following that, you've got this um, cotton material here, which protects the figure itself, ensures it isn't damaged. The black paper opens, and then, voila, we have Gromit. So, if we sort of airlift him out, put him to the side, we're met with the beautiful artwork by Nick Park on the back of the box. So these are really gorgeous, and I love the ones of Gromit in particular. We've seen a similar design on the Half Moon Bay products as well. Putting it there, it complements the Gromit figurine really nicely as a lovely backdrop. As with Wallace, he is indeed a miniature model, meaning he can be paired up perfectly alongside him, being the correct scale and therefore only 20mm tall. Nonetheless, he's been cast from real bronze, so is pretty heavy for his size, and then hand finished with the antique patina, which is, you know, this weathering to give it a lovely aged look. As for the sculpt, as we all know, Gromit has a very particular silhouette, and they've captured it perfectly here. I love that they went for his more traditional and unsuspecting dog pose, nicely reflecting the artwork that we've got on the back. As with Wallace, the wrong trousers mark the first instance of Gromit's slightly modernised look. So he's now sporting a shorter snout and generally broader features than the slightly lankier original version from a grand day out. Overall, really impressed with the detail considering the size and uh, you know, the weathered bronze look on Gromit you know, really complements the timeless design that he has. And what I appreciate the most is how it all comes together. When you put Gromit there in his display piece, it's a perfect sort of celebration of Wallace and Gromit as a whole and, of course, the wrong trousers been around for 30 years. As with Wallace, Gromit will make a grand addition to your Wallace and Gromit collection. So if you want your own Gromit figurine, you can head to License to Charm in the description below where you'll find the full range of Wallace and Gromit products, from charms to necklaces in addition to these figurines. So look out for my reviews of the remaining figurines in the lead up to the 30th anniversary of the Wrong Trousers. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.